My name is Lynn Lamborn and I'm a sustainable interior designer and garden designer. And I teamed up with Gardena four or five years ago now when we were doing the Ideal Home Show. And we've been working together ever since. And then when they came to release their new range of recycled plastic tools, the Ecoline range, they gave me a call and they said, you know, we're thinking of doing this at Chelsea. Would you be interested in designing a garden to go along with that launch? And of course, the answer was a big fat yes. I have always been interested in sustainability. During lockdown, I went back to Cambridge University and did a qualification in sustainability for business, which really sort of sealed my love of sustainability and my knowledge of sustainability. And it's grown from there. I mean, every day I just try and inspire people to live a more sustainable life and to really think about what they're doing. I think consumers now expect more. They expect companies to be taking care of the planet. They want to place their pound or their buck with companies who are invested in putting back. For me, it's about a kinder economy. That's what I always talk about. It's about working with brands who don't just put profit ahead of everything else, who put people, planet above everything they do every day because that's the way the world's got to be. So the Rethink campaign was sort of our slogan for the Chelsea Garden, if you like. We wanted people to look at the space they have. That's their little bit of the, of the world and to maybe question what they're doing with that. You know, it's all very well rushing out and buying a reusable cup, but doing nothing with that space you've got outside your back doors. So we wanted to encourage people to really focus on the rewilding, the pollinating plants and all those types of things in the space that they own. So the garden at this year's Chelsea Flower Show, I wanted to show things that I think have caused harm to the planet and how nature would take over those things. So I incorporated a really rusty old petrol pump because I wanted people to question the use of fossil fuels. And then there was a electricity cabinet because I wanted people to think about greener energy and I turned the electricity cabinet into a bug hotel. And then there was a chair to make people question landfill and how much furniture is sent to landfill. I do, I do a lot of work with upcycling furniture and that was really important to me. And when we look at food waste, we often measure that in a shopping basket. So, you know, how many shopping baskets worth of waste are there going each week, each month, each year? So I planted those up with lettuces and, and food. But that was also to try and inspire people to grow your own and to show people that you don't need huge amounts of raised beds or, or garden space. You can literally grow your own food in anything. I gave myself the added challenge of using lots of other people's waste from the show. When they'd finished with bits of decking and it was all going into the skip or into the wood recycling points, I took that away and I wanted to build the walls of my garden from everybody else's waste. Just to highlight really, A, the amount of waste that we generate at shows like these, B, that waste, if we're really clever with it, it can look beautiful if we collate it and put it together. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Obviously a key part of any garden at Chelsea is, is the planting and I had to be really clever with how I planted it up because I didn't want it to be contrived in any way. I wanted it to look like nature was taking back over but I had a specific colour scheme in mind. I wanted to pick the orange of Gardena and I also wanted to pick orange because it was the rusty feel. So I picked the totally tangerine geum as my sort of key win plant and then I picked other plants that went with that and I couldn't just go and order them off any sort of website or anything like that. I work very closely with the Waynes and Means Trust which is a charity which helps people garden their way back from you know, poor mental health. So whatever they'd grown, I had to sort of try and incorporate into my design as well. And so many people came up to me and said, you know what, we're doing this at home, we're doing that at home. And there is a real move towards people wanting to be more sustainable. And there was some lovely comments. Everything has to have a function, doesn't it? We have to look at items and think, what can I use that for? And Lynn's taken certain things, put plants in them and made them really attractive. I'm a real skip junkie. I love going to skips and finding things that I can reuse in the garden. And some of the pieces that she's used here are just fantastic. I'm really happy to be working with Gardena as a brand ambassador. They provide the tools that help people garden sustainably. And I know that with their tools, I can go away for a weekend and my garden will be watered. I know that the sun can power that. I know that their tools, once I buy them, will last forever because they are well made. And I know that they're now made from recycled plastic and that is a, is a line that they're going to continue to expand on. So they align with all of the things that I love and that I believe in. Chelsea Flower Show was a wonderful experience. I'm so proud of what we did. You know, we got four gold stars for my first ever show garden at Chelsea, the most prestigious flower show in the world. And working with Gardena was amazing. Our message, the Rethink campaign, we got that across to the customers, to people who came to the stand in a, in a really clever way. And I had an absolutely fabulous time. I loved every minute of it.